Okay. Uh, I've been fooling around with redstone, and I think I have come up with something that's pretty cool. It's not terribly difficult, but it is, um, it's actually pretty morbid to be, it's pretty, uh, not morbid, it's, it's very barbaric, but, uh, I like it starting out with. So, I started experimenting with various different techniques of how we could do it. And the first thing I want to do is I want to make a system where you can turn on turn something on and off with buttons and it will just simply stay on. First thing that popped into my mind is pistons. Why not use uh, pistons as a method of doing this? Uh, I think there is another way of doing this but um, that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm familiar with pistons so let's go ahead and use them. So let me show you what this device is right here. This is what I'm going to call a, a quantum circuit. It is a circuit that is generated by a uh, by a um, a piece of material being moved into the right place by pistons. Now this right here, uh, I'll show you what this is about, but there are four pistons here. They're all actuated in different ways. And uh, you can't see it, but this they're actually all, all the pistons are lined to uh, to switches, or in this case, buttons. So let me show you. The whole object of here is to turn something on right there, and I need to use a sequence to do it. So my sequence is 1 plus 2. But then I also wanted a way to reset it so that I could do it again. So the third one is the reset. So let me show you what it does. So the first one is going to act uh, it's going to activate a piston. There you go. First piston as you notice piece over there moved. Second one activates another piston. Now that light came on because now the circuit is active. Move this one into play this block into place. So now I want to turn the circuit back off again and reset it. And there we go, the light's back off and the block is back in place. The idea is very simple. Uh, you have each of these buttons activates one piston. Of course you can daisy chain the buttons to activate as many pistons as you want. If you wanted to, you could have one button that would literally activate uh, a dozen pistons pretty easily and you could do it sequentially um, based on where you set the redstone. So first one, the first button right here goes to, is lined all the way to this piston right here. So the first order, you have to do that. If you don't put that one in at the correct time, it's not going to work. So if I start out with the second one, it does nothing. It just, it moves there. does nothing. But if I start out with the first one, it actually moves it, um, it moves it back. Or it moves the uh, it moves the block forward to where it needs to be. So and now if I activate the second one, now it moves it into place, and now the circuit is active. The light is on. If I want to reset it, there you go. It's now reset, and I have to do it all over again. Now what's even furthermore is if I want move that first circuit. Now let's say that I've got five or six buttons here, and I can't remember the order at which you're supposed to uh, do it. So I decide I want to reset it uh, and try again. There you go. It's now reset. Now, there is an inherent problem with this, uh, and that is that you can literally neander around pushing all the buttons you want until eventually you hit the right button. So you could, if you had six buttons here, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times, and it would eventually turn on. So it kind of is, it's not a foolproof method, but it is a basic password method. If someone wanted to brute force their way in, and they could dig through, but if someone wanted to brute force their way in, they could. So this is kind of my first experiment, uh, this is my first foray into kind of quantum uh, redstone physics, if you will. So let me show you again what happened. First button, second button, circuit is now on. Want to reset it? circuit is now off. Anyway, uh, I'm going to see what I can do with this, but uh, this, is, this is turning out to be a lot of fun. It's Mad Pistol. Thank you for watching. <laughs>